Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at differentiation and we're learning how to differentiate powers of x. Differentiation, you may already know, is about finding the gradient of a function. It's about finding how fast a function is increasing or decreasing. So, and you can find the, uh, how steep a function might be uh, from that. And it's really useful in physics, statistics, economics, or computing. Uh, and if you go into subjects like this at university or higher, you will find uh, you use these, this tool, this mathematical tool, a lot in those subjects. The simple case is when you have a number. And so if it's just a number, it differentiates to zero. And then if it's a number times x, it differentiates to that number. So y equals 5 differentiates to 0, y equals 6x differentiates to 6. It also uh, would be the same for y equals 9 differentiates to 0, or y equals minus 53 differentiates to 0. y equals 8x will differentiate to 8, and y equals minus 12x will differentiate to minus 12. All okay. Now, a slightly harder version is when you've got powers of x. And actually, the rule is really simple here, again. The rule is you multiply down by the power, and then you take one off the power. So the power comes down, and then you take one off the power. Let's see that again. y equals x to power n becomes nx to power n minus 1. Let's see that in action. So y equals x to power 5. We multiply down by the power and take one off. 5x to power 4. Again, 9x to the power 3, we've got a 9 in the front this time. We still multiply down, and we take one off the power. 9 times 3 is 27, so the answer is 27x to the power 2. And that's the power rule for differentiation. For negative powers, uh, it's the same, we just have to make it into a negative power. So here we have y equals 1 over x squared, and that is the same as x to the power minus 2. You need to know that when you have 1 over a power, it just makes the power negative. So 1 over x squared is x to the power minus 2. Now, 5 over 2x cubed, well, again, we just make the power negative, is 5 over 2 x to the power minus 3. And then over here, we have y equals minus 1 over 5 x to the power 10. The power becomes negative. It's minus 1 x to the power minus 10 all over 5. Like that. So the first thing you have to do when you see a divide is make sure the power is negative. Now you can differentiate as we did before. So y equals x to the power minus 2. Uh, the minus 2 comes down like this. And then you take 1 off the power. Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. And you get it like this. Next one, we have y equals 5x to the power minus 3 over 2. The power comes down. Uh, and it'll be minus 5 times uh, five times minus 3, which is minus 15. And you take one off, x, x, minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4. So it goes from this to this. And that will be the final answer. Now, the final one, we uh, multiply down by the minus 10. Minus 1 times minus 10 will be plus 10. And then you take one off the power. Minus 10 minus 1 will be minus 11. So it'll be 10 over uh, 10x to the power minus 11 over 5. And then 10 divided by 5 is just 2, so you can simplify that to 2x to the power minus 11. And that's how you differentiate uh, when it's uh, you've got a divide by an x to the power. You just make the power negative. So there you go, those are the steps on screen for you there. If you wanted to, at the end, you could also make uh, simplify these by doing uh, making the, the negative power into a fraction. So this one would be minus 2 over x to the power 3. You may want to pause the video now and see if you can follow those steps yourself on pen and paper, uh, seeing that step by step. So try those uh, examples yourselves if you want. Next one is fractional powers, and a fractional power is like an, uh, a root. So for example, y equals uh, square root of x, that's the same as x to the power half. You should know that from your power rules earlier in school. y equals 4 uh, times cube root of x squared. That is the same as 4x to the power 2 thirds. 
you uh, again you root it by the three because it's a three root so it's uh, the denominator is three in the fraction and then you power it by two so that the power is a uh, two and then the final one is a divide by uh, square root of x so that's x to the power minus a half the minus is because it's divide the half is because it's rooting like that and now we have all of these as powers of x now we can differentiate so the first one y equals x to the power half we bring the power down and then we take one off the power a half minus one is minus a half you can do that on your calculator if you want so the half comes down and they take one off the power which becomes a half x to the power minus a half next one is y equals 4x to the power 2 over 3 the 2 over 3 comes down like that and you take one off 2 over 3 minus 1 is minus a third try that on your calculator it works 4 times 2 over 3 you just multiply the 4 and the 2 becomes 8 over 3 x to the power minus a third finally we're going to uh, take one off the power and we're going to divide uh, multiply down by the power 5 times minus a half and then minus a half minus 1 minus half minus 1 is minus 3 over 2 so it'll look like this and that's how you uh, differentiate those so fractional powers can be confusing but just get used to your fractions and you can use your calculator to subtract fractions okay if you wanted to simplify these now you can write them as um, roots like this and like this okay now an even more complicated example might look like this and what we're going to do is differentiate each part separately uh, and once we've done that we're going to find the gradient of the equation at x equals 1 so I'll show you how to do this we're going to start with this part here and we can't differentiate that yet we need to expand that bracket so expand that bracket we get 2x squared minus 8x always expand brackets before you differentiate now uh, the 5 over root x is the same as 5 over x to the power half which is the same as 5x to the power minus a half now we're going to simplify this minus 3 over x to the power 4 which is the same as minus 3x to the power minus 4 okay so watch carefully as I differentiate this step by step the y is going to differentiate to dy over dx 2x to the power 2 becomes 4x to the power 1 which is just 4x minus 8x differentiates to minus 8 5x to the power minus a half differentiates to 5 times minus a half x to the power minus a half minus 1 which simplifies to this you can try that step by step if you want to and then we can write it as a, uh, a root like that if you want to make it simpler minus 9 x to the power 8 differentiates to 72 x to the power 7 minus 3 x to the power minus 4 multiply down by the minus 4 and you take one off the power minus 3 times minus 4 is plus 12 and that's the final answer there which is again x to the power minus 5 is the same as 12 over x to the power 5 now that is the full equation differentiated now what I can do is substitute in x equals 1 to find the gradient so I replace all the x's with 1 like that and then I type that all into my calculator slowly slowly and you should get that dy over dx is minus 61.5 and that's the gradient of that equation at x equals 1 we've done now uh, that is everything from today's video I have some practice questions for you to try here so pause the video now and try to differentiate all of these and then evaluate them at x equals 4. Just use a calculator uh, for these uh, because it's going to be a lot quicker and you're allowed to calculate it in your exams. Good luck and when you're ready I'll reveal the answers in 3, 2, 1. And at x equals 4, this is the answer.
Thanks for watching today's video from Advanced Maths. I hope you enjoyed. And if you'd like to see more videos, please like and subscribe. We cover all topics from GCSE, A-Level and IB Maths. Uh, and we have more videos coming every week. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.